Recently I made a very detailed video on how to set up and run PCSX2 emulator. However, I did forget to mention one thing and that was configuring and formatting your memory cards. Formatting memory cards is very simple. It's exactly the same thing as what you used to have to do when you bought a new PS2 memory card for the PS2 console. However, it's been a long time and I'm sure plenty of people have forgotten how to do that. And so I'm just going to go through and show you what you need to do in PCSX2 emulator and I'll show you from scratch. Memory cards. Right, so yours should look like this actually if I insert this into slot 1. This is what your memory card setup should look like we click on this it says delete if we click down here it says create we want to do that so click anywhere in this white space and click create we want to really select the eight megabytes because that is the format for the original ps2 memory card and it works with almost every game the others you may have some trouble with so your best choice is to select eight megabytes this here make sure that use ntfs compression is selected and we just want to rename our memory card to whatever i'm just going to call mine spyro for the purposes of this video click create okay we'll see it here grayed out you want to select that click insert and into any port you want to insert it so let's do that click insert and click okay and as you can see spyro ps2 is now there okay so just highlight that and click okay now if we try running the game it's going to give us a message saying that the card is unformatted so here we are in this shitty spyro game probably the worst spyro game ever made press start the first thing it's going to do is give us some memory card options so if we press x it'll give us a message saying memory card ps2 is unformatted format ps2 memory card if we select yes it gives us this all saved data on memory card will be erased cancel format no formatting ps2 memory card format successful no saved data for spyro would you like to create a new save data yes there we go save data created successfully press x Oh my god. Not all games are going to give you this option right from the start. If you start a game and it doesn't give you the option immediately to format the memory card, I'll show you what to do for that. So let me just exit out of this. Okay, so I've just created a new memory card and I've placed it in port 1, so I'm going to click OK. What we do now, if we find a game that doesn't allow us to format the memory card immediately, go into System and we want to select No Disk, Swap Disk. Okay, then it'll give us the option to boot the BIOS. Press yes. And when you boot the BIOS, it'll open up the system settings. We want to select browser. Remember, it's circle. And we press circle again onto the memory card and it'll give us this option, unformatted. Do you wish to format it? Press yes. That's it. And there you go it's that simple what i'll show you really quickly as well is save states you may not even need a memory card so let's go back exit and of course if you want to select the game again go into config iso selector make sure that your game is selected and we want to select instead of no disk iso swap disk system who iso full yes and it'll load up the game again okay so we are back in spyro so let me just move about a bit, select this. Here, take this and all you want to do on the keyboard is press F1. And it'll stutter a little bit and you see at the top. Okay, all we do to load it, tap F3. And as you can see, we're back exactly where we saved it. Alright, that's it. That's everything. Hopefully that's everything I need to show you about PCSX2. Thanks for watching. Again. Any questions, any problems, leave them in the comments. Bye!